Today we're going to learn English with British historical drama Downton Abbey. When I'm with her, I'm reminded of the virtues of the English. But isn't she American? Exactly. And I've got two friends to help me out. Mr. Upstairs, how do you do? And Mr. Downstairs, how do? We're going to take clips from the series and analyse the British English accents that they use. And in part two, we're going to look at some super useful vocabulary that comes up in the show. So if you're ready, let's take a trip to the aristocratic world of Downton Abbey. <music> Downton Abbey is set in early 20th century Britain on a country estate in Yorkshire. It's owned by the Crawley family who are British aristocrats. Aristocrats basically just means really posh people. So half the show is about this family that live upstairs and the other half of the show is all about the maids, cooks and footmen that work downstairs. Let's start with the matriarch of the Crawley family, Violet the Dowager Countess of Grantham played by Dame Maggie Smith. She speaks with traditional RP, received pronunciation, that's very, very similar to the Queen's English. Let's have a listen. Then what? Edith, dear, you're a woman with a brain and reasonable ability. Our first sound is dear. Now you hear the dowager there, she says, Edith, dear. Edith, dear. Now, this, in many accents, is a diphthong, ear. Ear, but actually in traditional RP as I would speak it's smooth so it becomes a monothong a single vowel sound so it's not ear it's ear ear so it's dear other words like this would be beer beer not beer beer or not tear but tear that's right smooth monothong is it dear you're a woman with a brain and reasonable ability. We also hear the dowager say ability, ability. The i on the end of the word there with the y, that's a shortened i. So it's not e, no, it's i, ability. Just like city and pretty. Uh, excuse, excuse me, what? Uh, just, just, sorry, just quickly, we, we'd say that as well. We'd, we'd say the i instead of the e, so we'd say ability, you know, city. CD, that kind of thing. Uh, just, just, sorry, sorry to interrupt, didn't mean to. Uh, okay. Another sound that distinguishes Violet's accent as traditional RP or the Queen's English is the Y in suitable. <coughs> uh, excuse me, uh, that's, that's my line. Oh, sorry, pardon me. Mm, yeah. Yeah, my dear, when tragedies strike, we try to find someone to blame. And in the absence of a suitable candidate, we usually blame ourselves. Here, the dowager uses the y sound after the s. This is very common in traditional RP. So she says suitable, suitable, not suitable, suitable. Also, we could say suit. I like your suit. In all other British English accents, this y is dropped after the S. This is a process we call yod dropping. <laughs> yod dropping. Mm -hmm. So it would be suitable and suit. Uh, absolutely ghastly sound. Of course it should be suitable and suit. And in the absence of a suitable candidate, we usually blame ourselves. Oh, Harold hates to leave America. Curious. He hates to leave America. I should hate to go there. Once again, the dowager changes a diphthong to a monothong. In this case, the, the. Now in regular RP, this might be there. Felt rather, rather dizzy saying that. In traditional RP, it should be the, the. So we are smoothing that diphthong, air, to er, uh, the. That's right, the. We also have the O oh sound. So as you can see, my lips are narrow and I'm articulating from the front of my mouth. Go. Go. So next time you want a little bit of space away from your, your child, you could say, uh, Cuthbert, go over there. He hates to leave America. I should hate to go there. So as you can see, Violet's accent is not a million miles away from the Queen's English. Now there are other accents which are a little softer, a little more contemporary. For example, Lady Mary's accent. Really, Edith, you have to put on such an exhibition. She's not. I was supposed to be engaged to him for heaven's sake, not you. And I can control myself. Hey! 
Is it my turn yet? Sure, uh, who are you going to tell us about? I'm going to tell you about Miss Daisy. She's a maid and she has a lovely Yorkshire accent. How many have you done? This is my last till they come downstairs. You'll notice there she says me last. Just me. Me brother, me sister. It's just me. You'll also notice there that she said last. In the north of England we say that ah sound, right? So it's last, fast, bath, laugh. So we use the ah sound, not like them posh little upstairs with the ah, ah, ah sounds. <sighs> My dear boy, clearly there should be a distinction between the ah and the ah sound. Oh, I'm just saying, it sounds perfectly frightful to say last with an ah. Oh, go on, give it a go. Absolutely not. <laughs> How preposterous. Go on. Well, I, I, I don't think I can. My, my mouth won't allow it. Last. There you go. It should be last, fast, bath and laugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, guys. Look, this is one of the big differences between accents in the north of England and accents in the south of England. Now, I know RP technically isn't geographically located in the south, but we kind of categorise it as a southern accent for these purposes. Now, in southern accents, they have a and r, two separate sounds, but in northern accents, they just have the a sound. So, yes, a word like bath in the south, bath with the r, but in uh, northern accents, it's a, so it's bath. And this is one of the big differences between the North and the South. So you are both right, okay? In fact, no, there is no right and wrong. These are just accents, there's no right or wrong, it's just how people speak. Now get back to it, Mr. Downstairs. The first course is ready to go up, the souffle mix is done for the savoury, and I'll make a bechamel for the cauliflower. All right, two points here. So we've got the girl, she said girl. Now normally, in an RP accent or whatever, it's go, but not in a Yorkshire accent. We change that vowel sound to an er, uh, so it's go or no, or vote, for example, right? She also says done, she says up and done. Now these are two sounds that we use in Yorkshire, right, is the uh sound, uh. So for example, up and done and booked. Oh, just a quick one, I, I, I would say done. Yes, I would say done. Eh, hey, do one. Oh, okay. The first course is ready to go up. The souffle mix is done for the savoury and I'll make a bechamel for the cauliflower. Oh, if I'd had a teacher like her when I were at school, things might have turned out very different. You'll notice here that she drops the H's, right? So she says ad, not had. She also says er, not her. This is typical in a Yorkshire accent and actually in many accents around the British Isles. They drop the H's. In fact, H's aren't really pronounced except for in RP. You think about a Scouse accent, a Geordie accent, a Cockney accent. We all drop the H's. Just them posh little upstairs, they're the ones that say the H's. So I had a good time, right? I had a good time. Not I had a good time. I had a good time. I ate tea. Not I hate tea. I ate tea. If I'd had a teacher like her when I were at school, things might have turned out very different. Now in Downton Abbey there are a range of accents. The upstairs RP accents, there are varieties, and downstairs there are a variety of northern accents. This is just a flavour of them. If you want to learn more about British English accents, then I've done several videos, you can go check those out. We look at all different types of accents. And remember to look out for part two, where we study some fantastic vocabulary that's used in Downtown Abbey. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you know anyone that's trying to learn English, please share this video with them. But until next time, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye. Oh, and it's goodbye from these guys as well. Toodle pip. Ta-da.